Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Massive news if you are a South African rugby fan because the South Africa rugby revolution might have just begun. We have officially got confirmation of the overhaul of some of the structures within the SA Rugby, and in particular, the SA Women as well as the Junior SA Men, um, with coaches being redeployed, re confirmed, and appointed, and I'll tell you what, some pretty impressive performances as well, which sees a return of Swayze to Brain to the structures of SA Rugby, as well as a return for Kevin Foote, the former Blitzbach captain, who has been recently um, filling in as the Rebels head, interim head coach, um, and um, has been coaching over there for the last few years, and will return to South Africa to take over the junior Springbok coach coaching role um, from Panathlekul, who has been redeployed. Before we get into this, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to, to the channel as well. So a few, about a month ago, we actually did a video about the, the almost sort of the Christ in SA Rugby. And um, the Christ was not so much about the screen marks, but so much as the different structures and the fact that there needed to be this overhaul. Um, you know, we'd recently seen our Blitzbox having to qualify for the Olympics where they then had a phenomenal tournament um, and managed to win themselves a bronze medal despite uh, a couple of early struggles. We've also saw the, uh, the SA... The junior down the 20s having their worst tournaments to date ever in the under-20 championship. And our SA women's 15 side, whilst they're very much progressing, um, you know, currently sit 12th in the world. Which when you consider the fact that we've got back-to-back -back men's world champions, for example, the number one side in the world setting the standards is being looked at as one of the greatest sides of all time. To then have the 12th best women's side in comparison is not where we'd like it to be. You know, we want to be dominant across the board. And that means dominant in the men's 15th game, the women's 15th games, the men's 7th games, the women's 7th games, at junior levels. You know, we want to have that kind of dominance across the board um, because we are a rugby powerhouse. And, uh, you know, let's not skirt around the, the, the topic. We want to be the best rugby nation in the world. We can be the best rugby nation in the world. We just kept off a really good SA under 18 series, actually, um, with some impressive results. But let's go into some of the appointments, shall we? So, first of all, uh, big movements for the... Springbok woman. Um, the former Springbok uh, coaching consultant, Swayze De Brain, who is, who is a former uh, head coach of the Lions, obviously had that partnership with Jan Ackerman and then was a, uh, basically the attack coach for the Springboks. Um, he will join Bafana and Tlekel as the coaches of the SA woman side. And um, will be fulfilling the role of performance coach. Uh, they'll be joined by current uh, Springbok woman assistant coaches, Franz of September, as well as Lauren Johannes Hopt. Um, and uh, they will be coaching them up until the end of the Rugby World Cup next year in England, 2025, um, to the end of the tournament, um, at least. So that is basically a almost sort of an 18-month period, or just over a year sort of uh, contract, where that team will be taking them from here to the end of the World Cup. Very, very nice appointments. To have Swayze Bray back in SA Rugby is huge. He understands the game in a very unique perspective. Doesn't have that former sort of necessary playing experience that some other coaches might have. Um, but as a very astute learned man of the game. But Final Atletico, he has been part of that sort of that Romy Moby unit of coaches, for example. He hasn't really had a specific role. He's obviously filled the role of under-20 coach for the last few years, but he's also coached SM 20s for example. He has now been redeployed permanently to the Springbok women. Um, he'll currently ranks 12th in the, the world. And then the big one as well for a lot of people is the SM 20 coach. So Kevin Foote, uh, who's formerly coached... Um, in uh, uh, in Australia, obviously, for the last few seasons. Uh, he was the um, backs coach for the, the Western Force back in 2014 in Super Rugby. He's coached at UCT before and has recently been the coach of uh, the Melbourne Rebels. Um, he is a former uh, Springbok Sevens captain and uh, the 45-year-old will make his return um, to South Africa. And ironically, he returns as the, 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 the SM20 head coach and David Vessels, who was um, the Melbourne Rebels coach before um, Kevin Foote, he's actually the, the general manager, uh, become the general manager of SA Rugby, and he's overseen this process. So uh, this is what um, uh, Renal Wells has had to say about the entire sort of the, the process. So he says that uh, we expect our national team to deliver more consistent performances, and as such, we started a restructuring process as part of a significant overhaul of the high performance department. The Springboks can carry the torch and uh, carry the torch and do very well, but we need to see improvement from all of our national teams, including the junior box, blitz box, and women's teams. 
Um, he said, as part of this drive, we appointed Dave Vest as general manager to oversee the process of restructuring our high performance teams. And these appointments are the first steps in the process. In terms of the expectations, he said that uh, we op have obviously targeted winning the Rugby World Cup in 2027 for the Springboks, but we have goals for other national teams. Uh, he says, we expect to see the Springbok um, Junior Box winning the Rugby World um, under 20 championship at least once in a three year period and uh, for the Springbok women to climb the world rankings to be in the top eight and the blitz box to consistently medal at major events so there we go we now have performance targets we want to have world champions in the spring box we want to have a Springbok women's side which is in the top eight in the world we want to see our under 20s winning that rugby champ that that championship every three years at least once every every three years and we want to see our blitz box being one of the top sides on the circuit winning regularly regular tournaments so those are the goals and they're very lofty goals and i think the under 21 is a short-term easy fix i think that the, the blitz box for example i think that can be changed quite quite quickly the women's structures that we're going to see in a few years time because we have just seen the sort of the the um, announcement that there's going to be a fully funded professional women's league across the country. I mean, franchise women's going to be women players going to be pulled out, for example. So that's a bit more long term, but um, I think in sort of four or five years' time, we will reap the benefits of this. And hopefully, we're talking about 10 years, 15 years' time, creating a Springbok women's side that can compete at World Cups. Incredibly exciting times if you are a South African fan because. This is what we want to see, you know, as much as we talk about the Springboks being so phenomenal, and they are, and we know this, but I've always said, and, and this is what a lot of the, the, the people are saying, we can be so much more than just the Springboks being successful. You know, we've seen our best box dominate. We've seen our women's side, you know, despite the limited resources, punch above their weight. You know, this under 20 side often is always in the top three sides in the world, but not maybe winning the, the championship as often. This is now the goal. This is now what we're trying to do. And it's very, very exciting. Let me know which appointment excites you the most in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.